Hi, this is Paul from Wave5Trade.com. This is a short video trading journal for some of the trades that have, that have happened during August for our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite for Think or Swim and for TradeStation. TradeStation is being used for this video. So let's have a look at a couple of these trades. So REV Revlon was one of the short trades, one of the big winners from August. As you can see at the top here where the cursor is, we have the start of a bearish trend. We had the wave one, the wave two, the wave three, the wave four pulled back into our high probability zones and then we traded the short on the fifth wave. So let's zoom in and talk about that a little bit more. So as you can see here, the wave four pulled back into our 80% probability zone, the amber zone here. We then look for an entry coming outside of the 6.4 moving average low, which is another special moving average for this indicator suite. Also below this previous price action where my cursor is there now. So we then go short, big move down, straight into the target zones here on the fifth wave, taking profit. It did have a bit of a pullback and then it's come back down to the same sort of level again. But I took profit in this first target zone the first time it hit. So the next one is SJM. This one's a little bit quicker trade. And it's, this stock is in its own cycle uh, of earnings, news and things like that. So it's in a bearish trend right back from March. We've had the wave one, the wave two, the wave three. The wave four pulled back right into our 80% probability zone again, this amber zone. So let's zoom in there and have a quick look on, on what happened there. So as you can see here, the wave four pulled back right into the to the amber zone here, and we're looking for an entry below the six four moving average low. But also, just a note out at the bottom here, we have a special 535 oscillator with a pullback zone uh, for the wave four. So we we also look at these high probability zones and the 535 oscillator. Both were good looked for the short coming out of the 6.4 moving average low and then a few days later big gap down beyond our target zone to take really big profits on SJM. This is no coincidence this has happened three or four times during August because these stocks are in their cycles we're getting the wave 4 pullback at the right time we're looking for good entries and then usually on earnings after the entry they'll gap down and we make big profits. So let's have a look at XEL this trade is still on Let's just go uh, back a little bit just to to show you. So way back in December, we'd start of a long bullish trend for XEL. A wave one, wave two, again, the indicator suite does this automatically for you. We've had the wave three, then the wave four's pulled back into our 85% probability zone. So really strong probability here. Let's zoom in. So the wave force pulled back. We found support and then we're going to go along outside of the 6.4 moving average high here. And as you can see, the long trade is, has been fantastic. Not quite reached the target zone yet, but I have uh, taken profit. It's been in long enough. Trade's been in long enough and we are starting to run out of juice there, but really good profits on XEL. And one of the things that we do talk about in the boot camp is using the alternate 6.4 moving average low as a trailing stop position to manage these trades for the longer term. And in this case, this would still be uh, you would still be long in this with your trailing stop just below the 6.4 moving average low here. So let's have a look at PAA. This is another one that gapped again. This is no coincidence. This stock was in its cycle. Let's zoom out a little bit here. You see it's really long bearish trend. Really long bearish trend here. Let's see when it started way back here in March again, wave one, wave two, the wave three's come down. It's pulled back against that wave three. It, the wave four then found support. It's gone sideways for a while. We look for the 6.4 moving average. One thing we talk about in the boot camp is looking at um, previous price action to look for a decent 
entry for this type of trade so let's zoom in here so with this price action here we can see the these this low of this doji here where the cursor is so that would be a good opportunity for a low because it hasn't been that low during this wave four pullback so it failed to make a new wave four high we're then looking for the breakout so it's below the six four moving average low and we entered just below this doji short we're in the short for two days again gap down below the target zone and we're in big profits also at the bottom you can see the the 535 moving average within the parameters of the 90 and 140 percent so these combined together with a good entry strategy and we discussed that in the boot camp lots of different entry strategies there good trade on PAA so let's have a look at MOS very very similar this didn't gap down though we had the wave 4 pullback into the green zone which is the 85% probability and then we're looking for the short out of the 6-4 moving average more conservative though below the lows of these these uh, candles here to make sure we're in, in a good probability for the short trade entered this and hit the target within seven or eight days and we still could be in right now again if we were using the 6-4 moving average as a training stop I think we were just better taken out on Friday last week so another really good trade also just want to show you the flexibility of this so GBP US dollar we are currently in a trade on the 60 minute on the GBP US dollar we've had the wave one, the wave two, the wave three, the wave fours pull back into the 85% probability zone. And then we're looking to get long on out of the 6-4 moving average high, this moving average here. And we've just made the new wave five high in this last 60 minute bar. So good trade also can be used on the daily on stocks. It can be used on shorter time frames or the daily on Forex. This is a great trade that we're in right now. It also can be used on futures as well. So with futures, two recent trades. This is the ES uh, E-mini S&P. This is on the 15 minute chart and we've had a short we've had the wave four come back into the green zone here gone short coming out of the six four moving average low and just tipped the target there and then the then the trend reversal we've had the one the two the three the fake wave fours come back into the 75 percent probability zone and then we've come out and we've had a decent long here it's still it's still struggling to get out but uh, still a good looking trade two trades on the ESE mini S&P on the on the 15 minute so lots and lots of diversity these are just some of the trades that this software has helped traders get into during August and I will try and do some more uh, more routine type of trading journals during September <laughs>